Matt, what are you doing? I'm reading Douglas Adams. I've told you not to do that anymore. I know. And now you're convinced you don't exist again. But I don't. Remind me again how the argument goes. Okay, so you know how some scientists think that the universe is probably infinite, which means that there are probably an infinite number of planets? Yes. But the number of people in the universe is almost certainly finite. Okay. Then the average number of people per planet is zero, because it's a finite number divided by infinity, and any finite number divided by infinity is zero. Perhaps our planet just has more than the average number of people on it. But if the average of a set of numbers is zero, there are only two options. Either all the numbers are zero, or if some of the numbers are greater than zero, some of the numbers must also be less than zero to balance it out. Now, no planet can have a negative number of people on it, so the only option is that all the planets have zero people on them, including ours. But I exist. But you can't exist. Who can't exist? You. What do you mean by you if I don't exist? I don't mean anything because I don't exist either. You do exist. Matt? I'm over here. If Matt and I do exist, what's wrong with his argument? Hold on, Please hold on, Dad. Are you uploading that Douglas Adams video? Yeah. But you know what people are going to say? They're just going to say the problem with this argument is the universe isn't infinite. It's simple. Oh, right. But the number of people in the universe being finite is okay. Well, yeah, surely it must be. So does the argument work the other way then? Because some people do think that the universe might be infinite. So does the fact that we exist prove that the universe is finite? I don't know. So what do you think? Uh, please leave your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.